It is the great prairie dog mystery at the El Paso Zoo. El Paso Zoo officials learned a year and a half ago the more than a dozen prairie dogs living at the zoo disappeared. ABC 7's Rosemary Montañez joins us live from the El Paso Zoo with more. Rosemary. Stephanie Eric, the question now is where did the prairie dogs go? Zoo officials telling me they're still trying to solve this mystery after all of the prairie dogs suddenly vanished. They've already made changes to prevent this from happening again. They dug the entire exhibit by hand. There's no bones, no fur, no trace of the animals. The disappearance of a colony of 14 black tailed prairie dogs has left zoo officials scratching their heads. So we don't know what happened. The director, Joe Montesano, tells me he has been working in zoos for 27 years, and this is a first. Montesano says it was a year and a half ago when they first noticed the rodents had disappeared. We had them for so long, and you get used to seeing them, not seeing them pop up every now and then, and all of a sudden we notice, hey, they're not popping up, and the food wasn't going away was the biggest clue that they weren't eating as much and they weren't eating anything. Eventually. Eventually, so it was very strange. He says they even got a volunteer to scout the exhibit an entire day. The prairie dogs were gone. Montesano suspects a hawk or domestic cat are to blame. The zoo was forced to make changes, and the U.S. Department of Agriculture agreed with them. I don't think anybody has a net like this. I've never seen one, at least. They're all open top with a moat kind of thing, and because they basically live underground, it's all concrete under here, so they can't dig their way out. It's one of the most popular exhibits here at the El Paso Zoo, and with this great prairie mystery, zoo officials tell me they'll be back just in time for summer. About two or three months before we get prairie dogs back on exhibit. Montesano hopes the new prairie dogs will enjoy their new habitat and not disappear. Beautiful, kind of ugly net. Uh, it is not the best thing. This used to be the view of the prairie dogs, which was unobstructed. Unfortunately, now we have to put up this net to keep out predators. And Montesano says that they did report this incident to the United States Department of Agriculture when they first learned about it. They can find zoos in situations like these. The El Paso Zoo was not fined, but they were forced to uh, large in the enclosure for the sea lion. And the repairs for that will cost the El Paso Zoo $150,000. For now reporting outside the El Paso Zoo, Rosemary Montañez, ABC7. All right, Rosemary, still a big mystery.